operating systems that you should know if you're looking to get into IT. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is Zach with IT Career Questions and I am doing the part two of what operating systems you guys should know. Last week I covered a little bit about Windows and specifically, you know, all the way back to XP to Windows 7, 8, 10. 10 is going to be pretty prominent within the next few years, I would imagine. And today we are going to discuss the other operating systems that are out there that you may find in your corporate or business environment. And one of those operating systems that you may find out there is Linux. That is still a pretty prominent operating system when it comes to corporate environments. And typically you will find those mostly, mostly, bear with me here, in development type of jobs, positions, and companies that handle a lot of development type of things where you're doing coding and things like that. You will probably see more Linux boxes in those type of environments. I typically, in my 10 plus years of being in IT, I think I've only ran across two or three businesses that had and one, just one single Linux box that handled one specific application. And currently the job that I'm in right now, we have one Linux box that handles only one application and that's it. That's all that it does on our network. It does nothing other than handle one specific thing. And everything else is Windows based. And you'll find that a lot nowadays where it's just Windows everywhere. Everywhere you look, it's Windows, Windows, Windows. But you will see Linux out there. And people do still work jobs that really their environments consist specifically in Linux. So if you are interested in Linux, you can definitely look into that and see how that runs. You can download it for free, install it on one of your boxes. You can install it as a virtual machine if you download VirtualBox. And you can just play around with it and see how see how it works. I mean, that's, again, one thing that's out there that people do use to this day. When you are doing your research on the type of career that you want to get into and you see that Linux is involved in whatever aspect of that career that you are looking into... You should download that and check it out and just get the basics of how that operating system works because it's completely different than Windows. So, Linux, check it out. Next is probably going to be the obvious, and that's Mac. Yeah, there's environments that run some Macs. You would be surprised how many environments who are solely Mac-based who run Windows for all of their pretty much Active Directory type of stuff and support in regards to that. It, it actually is really weird how that works, but there are some more advanced things that you can look into with the Mac, with the Mac server OS type of things. And that's, I haven't really heard much about it lately within the last few years. And I don't really see that going much further the way that it is. I Like I said, I there was one environment that I worked in that actually had um, some type of Mac-ish type of server that they ran to handle uh, some of the different applications for their, their desktop Macs and things like that. But I wasn't involved in that, thank God, because I don't want to know about that. But if you are into development, again, maybe graphic design, video production, um, there's a lot of environments that run Mac. And it's a great they're great computers. I'm, I cannot say that they're not great computers. I have two of them and I love them and that's what I use to edit all of my videos and you know Photoshop and do all my photo editing you know with Lightroom and stuff like that and it works like a dream. It's a great system. But yes that is an operating system that you could learn and there are like I said there are environments that use them. There are definitely a lot of split environments where they're running Windows and Mac almost side by side a lot of the times. I actually, when I went to um, visit CNN in Atlanta, Georgia last year, the floors that they had, you know, the floors with the, the news people and stuff like that, they had Windows machines and they had the all-in-one Macs pretty much side by side. And I thought that was really cool how they did that. And it, it, it was literally scattered across the whole floor. I think I have a picture I could probably pull up of that. It was really cool, the fact that they had both of these systems in their environment and they utilize them to the best of their abilities because there are really great things about the Mac that does phenomenal things 
better than a Windows machine does. And I know we're gonna, there's going to be people who are going to cry about, oh, you know, you can get a Windows machine and, you know, soup it up and it's going to be just as good, if not better. Sure, maybe, possibly, but not really. Mac really does handle things a lot better than a Windows machine ever could. And you can do all of the research that you'd like on that. I will not get into detail on this video. But anyway, learn the Mac. It's a good system, and you may run across that in your endeavors looking for a job. So these are two more operating systems that you probably should at least look into a little bit when you're looking for an IT career. The next few videos that I'm going to do that revolve around this whole operating system um, topic, we will just discuss maybe a little bit specific basics that you should know, and we'll give you a little bit of step-by-step, -step, a little bit of hands-on, and uh, we'll cover whatever we can. If you guys have specific questions about any of these topics, videos, operating systems, you know what to do. Leave a comment below, I'm more than happy to get back to you, or even make a video that's directed specifically to you. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel because I greatly appreciate that. And you guys have an amazing day or night or if it's four in the morning and you're watching this, have a great four in the morning. Take care.